Well, uh, new statistics show that chin augmentations are one of the fastest growing plastic surgery procedures. Chin implants increased <laughs> last year at really? a higher rate than breast augmentation, Botox and liposuction combined. The reason? It may have to do with technology and video chatting. WBTV's Melissa Hankins is on your side with the new IT surgery. Yeah. Here you can see the profile. Nice defined neck and chin there. It is the fastest growing plastic surgery in the U.S. above breast augmentation and even Botox. The number of procedures in 2011 rocketing 71 percent over 2010. Apparently the chin is in. Megan Chastness always wanted to get hers fixed. Nobody was looking at my eyes or my smile. It was the fullness of my neck or you know the, the hereditary, the trait that my mom and myself and my seven aunts and 50 female cousins all deal with. She decided to do something about it before one of the biggest days of her life. I think I got married about six months after the procedure and the way I felt and looked on my wedding day was priceless. But what is it that explains America's current fascination with chin augmentation? There's a theory out there. We Skype a lot more often than we did before. Becky Golden is a producer at WBTV where video chatting for interviews and meetings has become a way of life. It's like that now at many companies and it's causing people to get a new view of their facial features. They're catching angles they've never seen before. I was very surprised. You know you have a little bit of a double chin going on sometimes in those dead on shots. So It's a simple enough procedure to put in a chin implant. And they are relatively cheap compared to many plastic surgeries, according to Dr. Stephen Finical, but there are still risks. There's an infection risk over time. It's all healed up. But that risk goes away when you use your own bone, which is what Finical recommended for Chastness when she got her procedure at Charlotte Plastic Surgery. The advantage to what Megan had is using her own tissue and lengthening her own bone allows the muscles that are connected to that bone to also be stretched and tightened her neck so there's there's no risk of any long-term complication not to have to worry about that anymore is just great for chastness it was the right thing to do her chin had been bugging her her whole life but golden hopes those that are let's say a little surprised by skype she hopes they think it over that it's not anything that anyone else probably even notices yeah, and when you make a decision like that, it's permanent. I, I think Becky makes a good point. Mm -hmm. No one notices that stuff. And you're yeah. in bad lighting usually when you're on Skype. Yeah, anyway. we're much more critical of ourselves than are. other people.